I would like to show you today how to clean your oil painting brushes to help preserve them. Oil painting brushes often can be quite expensive and if you don't take the good care in cleaning them thoroughly then you may have paint get hard and dry on them and you'll probably have to throw them away at that point. I have here the silicoil tank and inside you can see there is a coil in here and you can if you purchase one of these it's very good for getting a lot of the extra paint off your brushes. Uh, the brush rubs against the coil and um, the, the paint settles down to the bottom of the tank here. I like to use odorless mineral spirits. Um, you also can use a silicoil brush cleaning fluid. It's made by the same company that makes these jars. There is also a product out there called Turpenoid Natural and that is an environmentally friendly cleaning fluid uh, for people that might be sensitive to the smells even though it says odorless there is a slight odor to to some of these cleaning fluids so let's get started cleaning um, here's an example of one of the brushes that has a lot of um, has a lot of paint on it I always uh, get the paint off as much as I can onto a rag here and just keep working it into there before I even go into the brush cleaning tank. You can see how much paint is on there just by looking at this rag. I'm going to turn it inside out here the other way to get even more paint off of it. Now I'll go into the brush cleaning tank and I'll rub the brush against the coils here. back and forth many times. I push down on the brush as I'm going over the coil. That helps to remove more paint. Often paint will settle down here by the furrow, which is this metal part of the brush, and there's a, there's a lot more down in there than it even appears, and um, you want to get that as much of that out as you can. And then I let some of the excess mineral spirits come off and wipe it on the rag now this is just the first step of cleaning um, you can look at it and say oh that looks like a pretty clean brush but like I mentioned before there's a lot of paint stuck down in there that you don't see if you if you don't get that paint cleaned out the brushes will um, it will harden in there and eventually your brushes will become more and more stiff and then they'll be unusable I'm gonna set this brush aside for now and do these other ones um, and we will be uh, using soap and water on on these all of these brushes after the initial cleaning This brush holds a lot of paint, and so um, I'm going to try to get some of it off here first, like I did with the other one. And just rub it back and forth in the jar here. They also make jars like uh, similar to this one, and there's a little screen in the bottom uh, instead. It's sort of like a graded screen instead of the coil, and those are fine to use too.
You can also make your own jar just by using like a fruit jar and put your own screen in the bottom of it. And that works pretty good too. Whatever you put in the bottom, make sure it's not too sharp uh, because you don't want to um, wreck the hairs on your brushes. The nice thing about the silicoil jar is that the coils are smooth and so it can't hurt the brushes. Okay, we're ready to go to the sink and uh, use soap and water.